Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we have the Monkey Shoulder, a blended malt whiskey Herma cask and this bottle is very well designed and has three monkeys on the shoulder of the bottle. This whiskey is a blended whiskey, blended malt whiskey, no grain whiskey in it, uh, 40% ABV in the upper 20s, um, so 2690 in Central Europe. And the name comes from, well, the, the work of the malt man in the distilleries in former times where you had these uh, floor maltings where you spread the, the germinating uh, barley on the floor this thick probably or even a little bit more foot deep, deep. and so it is it was wet and it should germinate and it might have been a, uh, a microclimate in that uh, building that it might become rotten so some mold in it uh, and therefore you had to turn the mold first to avoid um, becoming bad on the other hand to have a uh, completely germinate uh, germination inside uh, the mold so you had to to turn it with a shield I, I think it was called a shovel and uh, this was a very hard work and if you turned 10 tons of mold a day then you feel, felt your shoulder ah, and this is called today a repetitive strain injury and this was very typical for malt men uh, in former times and two centuries ago or one and a half century ago and uh, they tend to to work in a uh, crippled fashion uh, and had thick shoulders and so it was called a monkey shoulder this so and uh, this is long gone very very good for that so this tedious work is gone and the three monkeys here on the shoulder they look like and see nothing hear nothing speak nothing uh, <laughs> that might happen if you <laughs> drain the bottle yeah no don't do that so um, what's in the bottle well this bottle it comes from the company William Grant and Sons that company is very very famous they have the Glenfiddich malt as well as the Balvini and a more or less unknown malt called Kinnenvi and this Kinnenvi is a normal shed and in that shed on the premise of Glenfiddich and Balvini which are sister companies uh, on one premise so there is a shed a uh, metal shed and in that building there are six eight stills or even more 10 probably with different shapes so that they can produce very very different uh, flavors during the distillation and this is a blended malt uh, in former times they have written on the back that it's uh, produced distilled produced in in Dufftown and all those three distilleries are, reside in Dufftown today they speak of uh, Highland or Speyside malts one of both uh, Speyside's finest single malt whiskies and so there will be whiskies from those distilleries in that bottle and uh, the price is not that high and the mixture is rich so this gives a should give a typical taste of a well of Speyside malt yeah very very fruity and it was promoted I think it came up on the market in 2010 11 something uh, I tasted that the first time 10 years ago I looked up the old video and uh, it might have changed over the years so have a try for this yeah Floral, floral sweet light spiciness stronger spiciness yeah 
a leathery note. No, no, this is Chinese leather. <laughs> yeah, that's plastic. Uh, leather uh, and then tobacco, but not the smoke of tobacco, but this ferment fermented taste from a tobacco tin when you freshly open that. And probably a tick of sherry. Yeah, vanilla. So this is a complex, full, really massive, wonderful. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so first there's a citrus or a citron grass, then a lot of spiciness, moving over to, to a peppery, and then becoming drier. Mm -hmm. And the aftertaste, a hint, just a slight hint of bitterness, of uh, dark molten chocolate. And officially said it's from ex bourbon casks, but that's heavy for a bourbon cast. And this is a, a strong one. And therefore, they said uh, when they introduced that whiskey, that is for drinks. So if you're doing whiskey cocktails, or something, uh, then this whiskey is very uh, suited for that. First, is not too expensive, and second, is very intense. So the aroma is very complex, full, balanced, and the taste is massive. And the aftertaste, not too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they did a wonderful job for this. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.